Finally tonight on this 4th of July weekend, the men who carved Mount Rushmore. It's an iconic American monument. It took an enormous amount of work. But has all that work been recognized? Anne-Marie Green has our story. Here he is literally carving the eye of uh, Abraham Lincoln. Since he was a child, Lou Del Bianco has seen something in the faces of Mount Rushmore that few others have. I see my grandpa and I feel him. I mean, he may as well be the fifth face on <laughs> that mountain for me. Hundreds of men worked on the iconic sculptures, but Lou's grandfather, Luigi Del Bianco, was the only chief carver trusted to sculpt the most significant details, the lips and the eyes. My grandfather was quoted in 1966 where he talks about Lincoln. He said, I know every line, every bump, every ridge of that beautiful face, and I truly believe that his gifts as, a, as an artist helped to bring the soul of Lincoln out, and that's what people see. The work was grueling, and decades later, Luigi would die from lung disease as a result of his lifelong work as a stone carver. It was only after his death that Lou learned of his grandfather's crucial role at Mount Rushmore. All of the credit went to Gutson Borglum and his son Lincoln. Gutson Borglum would design, and Gutson would leave the fine finishing and the refinement of expression to my grandfather. Luigi's name is listed with all the other workers on a plaque at Mount Rushmore, and Lou has been trying to convince the National Park Services to recognize Luigi's unique role with his own plaque. The National Park Service is not ch willing to change their policy about giving Luigi recognition. So for the past 80 years, it's basically been Borglum and his son in the forefront, and there's Luigi in the shadow, in the background. Yeah. Are you surprised that it's taken this long? Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm shocked at this point. Um, this has been a 25-year uh, a odyssey for me and my family. Luigi resided in Port Chester, New York, most of his adult life, and after Something relentless about, lobbying by Lou, by New it. York lawmakers last month recognized Luigi Del Bianco as chief carver of the monument. Grandpa, this is for you. A few like weeks ago, Lou say. unveiled a mini Be monument Luigi. in Port Chester honoring Be Luigi's Luigi. accomplishments. As Lou continues to chip away at the obstacles, the name Luigi Del Bianco is slowly being carved into America's history books. Anne-Marie Green, CBS News, Port Chester, New York.